What's up guys, here's Twin here, hope you're doing well, in today's video we will be building a 5200 horsepower plus V8, let's go! Alrighty, to start this, this is a 90 degree V8 block with magnesium block material, dual overhead cam, 5 hours per cylinder and a 10.9 liter displacement, plus 15 quality, let's go! So yeah, let's just configure this as we need to so, no VVT new, no VVL, just because this engine has been proven to not work well with both of those systems in place. I've built one off camera, so that's where I tried to configure it to see if it does hinder the engine. It actually does, it actually tops out at 5000 horsepower flat before it starts really breaking things. So less components, less stress, the normal stuff. So it's uh, balancing mass, so what we're adjusting now. We're adding some weight to the crankshaft, as well as we're gonna adjust the exhaust header size. A little larger so we can push this engine a little more. Note, we don't run cats, first mufflers or second mufflers on this engine, because it will hinder power, and in pursuit for power, that's what we want. None of that is needed. So we're already up to 2058, well, no, that's 2100 horsepower. So that's looking really good. So we adjust the fuel to nitromethane. Because of the power level, things start breaking now. So let's we take some boost out of it and we just play around with the cam profile as well as the compression to see what it will do. I raised compression a little bit more as well as stiffened the springs and lifter tension so we can uh, rev it higher up as well as pull more power upwards into the higher rev range. Readjusting the boost, see what works. So I'm striving to make this the biggest and above all else the most powerful twin turbo V8 in automation. Now I've looked everywhere and I can't find any higher number than 5000, the highest I've seen is 4480, now that's reliable horsepower, we are not going for reliability like I said, this thing is not reliable at all, and this is going to be an engine that's going to be featured in BeamNG in a vehicle, so uh, keep your eyes out for that one. Alrighty, so this thing is already looking real good. Oh, on set now. We're just readjusting that. To get this engine to be up the horsepower numbers that I need it to be is sometimes it can take me a little while to do it. Just like that, we're at that number. So it's 5,228 horsepower. Now it's 25226. So yeah, this thing is looking awesome. Um, that's what happens if you put UVT on it, it destroys it. So yeah, this thing is looking good. I like how it looks. Now let's see what it sounds like after I configure that. Let's see what it sounds like. Now that sounds awesome and led to 7500 rpm so let's make this thing look awesome after it makes that a bunch of power and I think blue is gonna be the color for today oh yes that aluminum blue is looking cool well aluminum or aluminium depending on where you're at in the world I like to use aluminum it's sort of a standard I'm used to for the word anyway so yeah this thing is awesome I'm just gonna do yep looking great I'm gonna leave the intake carbon color because I like how it looks on the blue with the blue headers looking excellent now that is awesome 
5,226 horsepower. That is staggering amount of horsepower. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.